everybody. I'm Nancy O'Dell with ET on TV. Yes. Think you two know each other. Oh, my brother. I was intrigued by the idea that there was this little NCIS office in the real world that handled the New Orleans area and the whole Gulf Coast. The city has a huge personality. It's world renowned. There's no place like it in the United States, maybe anywhere. You have someone leading that office who is a local. I play Dwayne Pride, who's nicknamed King. Sorry to interrupt, King, but we got a little bit of an issue. He just call his boss King. He's a native New Orleanian that has been there most of his life. You have another one who was raised there. Came here from Alabama when I was a teenager. You have a female from the Midwest. You have a great contrast that also represents not only the color, but also the choice of life that exists in that area. They work Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, all the way around the Gulf into Florida. There's a lot of events that happen down there with uh, folks in the military. They have issues of fraud and embezzlement, homicides, and some terrorism. Because New Orleans is sort of a mecca for people to come and party from all over the world, it has as many threats as Washington does. This character is just wildly passionate about his city and the people that live in his city. What don't you celebrate? Not much. So he really kind of rocks and rolls, you know, with the city, with the people around him. It causes problems. It causes him to bump up against authority. My city, my way. It starts out where there's this murder of a former NIS agent and uh, North Carolina Congressman Dan McLean. Dan McLean happens to be a part of this group called the Fed Five. Gibbs and Pride were also a member. I have known SSA Pride for 30 years. Trust him with my life. Pride believes that there is some sort of political involvement in McLean's death. And so Gibson Bishop go down to New Orleans to help out the New Orleans NCIS team with that. There's a mystery to solve and everything, but it really comes down to the interactions between these characters and how everybody corresponds and that mystery alchemy that comes out of uh, the best TV shows. Special Agent LaSalle. He's kind of got a rough, rough past. You know I'm going to keep fighting. They kind of run the show down in New Orleans, and then they get help from Zoe McLellan's character coming down from the Great Lakes area. Special Agent Brody is very intelligent. She is a fish out of water because she's in New Orleans and this is new territory and the way they run their program is completely different than what she's used to. Hey, why does everything in this part of town smell like beer? Probably because you're standing in a puddle of bachelor party vomit. Our doctor and our, our quirky medical examiner. Dr. Loretta Wade, just look at her, she's kind of different. They just carried him out of here like an overstuffed sack of potatoes. She likes to dance because dealing with dead bodies all day, I wanted her to have something that was visceral. My hope is that NCIS New Orleans is a combination of fun and thrills with this musical backbone to it. Rich, rich characters. And at the same time, still provide the crimes that we deal with in NCIS on a weekly basis. They say Le Bon Ton Roulet. Let the good times roll.